Hi, my name is Amanda Ulrich, and this is my reflection journal for my Ideas and Issues class for CCU for June 15, 2014. Um, the question is reflecting on the reading of Wright and Lyons. What do you find confusing, inspiring, and or challenging, and why? Which of your assumptions have been challenged? So the Wright book is Surprised by Hope, and the Lyons book is The Next Christians. It's Gabe Lyons. And... Um, so with the Surprise by Hope book, mostly I found it confusing, and it's mostly because of the wording and um, just the words that he uses, the how he puts them together. Like, I don't always understand what he's saying, so I don't entirely know what the words mean. So um, it's, most, it's mostly just confusing. Like, there, I definitely do get some out of it from what I can comprehend that I believe he's saying but it's it's still just more confusing than not um, the next Christian's book is more of inspiring and challenging so inspiring because um, like this isn't something that I've heard before I've heard of the fall and redemption story the half story but I've never heard that it's like missing part of it and I've never really known why you would need more but, it, I mean, it gives you more. It's great. It totally adds to it. So that's the inspiring part. <laughs> On page 51, it has God's story is made up of four key parts, creation, fall, redemption, and restoration. And that wasn't anything I was really ever taught before or told ever, really. Like, I mean, I've, I've known about the creation, obviously, and I've known that will, like, go to heaven. But I've always just kind of come with the, um, how... What is it? The kingdom story. Um, the public faith article. How they say that it's more of an individual thing when it's just about forgiveness. It's just about, it's like, I get saved, I get forgiven, I go to heaven. Like, that's what I've heard before. And although there's not entirely anything wrong with that, like, there's so much more to it. And there's so much more grace when you have more than just like oh I'm gonna go to heaven so that's great okay and then so there's challenging um so there's Jamie I don't know his last name he started the to write love on her arms organization um and it started with the t-shirt and how Hot Topic wanted him to take out um Body of Christ because they don't really affiliate with any kind of religions or anything so in the book Lyon says uh, on page 88 says understandably some good Christians might take offense with this decision and question Jamie's capitalization viewing it as weakness or even unjustifiable compromise because he did take Body of Christ out and I know initially I had kind of an issue with that but on their website, like, because I guess they had the story printed inside the t-shirts. On their website, like, it still tells the story. It still tells the body of Christ. And they don't affiliate as a Christian organization, but they do say that there are, like, several Christians and stuff. And, I mean, I guess they can reach more people. So that's kind of my challenge is, is it a compromise? Is it not? I kind of think it is, but I kind of kind of understand it, I don't know, and then there's another, um, the Kingdom story from, um, the Public Faith article, it quotes Matthew 10, 7, the Kingdom of Heaven has come near, and because of this, I have really just got a whole entire new meaning of what that is, and not, when they were saying, to, uh, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near they weren't saying repent because the second coming is going to come and the world's going to end like I mean that's part of it I'm sure but the whole thing like what I've gotten from this book and just other things that I've been reading just what God's been showing me is that it's more than that it was the kingdom of heaven is coming so when Jesus died was resurrected rose again became alive again he, like, the kingdom of heaven came then and is now. And we are in this redemptive, this restoration process, this whole big thing that is so much more than just a forgiveness of your sins. And, hey, you got one way to get to heaven. So, 
that is my let me go back here that's my that's my take and that is the the assumptions that have been challenged was that it's more than just forgiveness and that's something that God's been showing me in different ways and there was the ragamuffin gospel by oh gosh I don't remember his name but um the ragamuffin gospel is something I've been looking more into and talks more about grace and so that's my answer in my reflection journal and I hope it uh, answers the the questions thanks